Hello, I'm Ishan. And I'm June. And we are educators with Pacific Science Center's Science on Wheels program. And today, June, we are going to make something pretty awesome. It's usually green. It's a little bit sticky. You can get your hands real good into it. Okay. Today, friends, we are making guacamole. Slime. What? No, June. We are we're, we're going to be making slime. I mean, look, look. This, oh, this, yeah. Not an yeah. avocado in sight, June. Well, gotcha. We are going to be using some ingredients to make some slime, and you can make some slime at home if you have similar ingredients to this as well. That's right. So here we have two parts glue and one part borax solution, which you may or may not have at home. If you don't have any borax solution at home, Ishan here uh, has some different alternatives that you can use. Absolutely. You can use things like detergent or hand lotion. We typically call those things activators, and those activators will help turn glue into some slime. So let's take our activator and mix it with this glue. Let's do it. Now, if you want to, you could, all, you could put all of this into a bowl and mix it by hand, but we don't want to get too messy right now, so we're going to just put it in a Ziploc bag. All right. In goes the glue. And we'll also put in our activator, the borax. And we're going to add some color to it with a little bit of green paint. Great, I'm gonna seal this up really well. And then I'm just gonna start smushing it with my fingers, just yes. like this. We want to make sure that all of the glue gets covered in as much borax as possible, because the borax covering the glue is what's going to stop the glue from being able to flow and slide over each other and turn it into that awesome slime that we can play with that won't stick to very many things. So we're going to keep kneading, and this will take about 10 to 15 minutes, so. That's a long time, mission. Yeah. My fingers are kind of getting sore. Maybe you could distract me by telling a story. Ooh, yes, I have a wonderful story. I'm glad you asked. Great. I have two lovely cats. One of my cats is named Basil. She's the small one, but she's also really quick and she's really strong. And so, you know, I've always said if my cat was to be an animal, she'd be a shark. And so I think Basil would be a shark. And then Hughes is the other one. He's a bit slow. So Basil, I think finally I'm ready to say it. If Basil was an animal, I think Basil would be a cat. That's fair, because she is a cat. Right. Um, thanks for that story, Ishan. Uh -huh. I think we're just about done with the slime. Okay, fine. I'll tell you about Hughes the other another yeah, time. Yeah, we can do that. All right, so I'm taking the slime out, and as you can see, it's not so ooey gooey anymore. The glue and the borax together have become this cohesive lump of slime. Awesome. Well, I'm so excited to do some experiments with the slime, and I want to figure out what the slime can do for us. Well, June, now that we've made our own slime, I think we are now officially slime princesses. And we invite you to be slime princesses also and join the slime kingdom. Thanks for watching. <laughs>